Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Can You Cook That? I'm your host, Dan Longton, and thank you for tuning in, and make sure to stay with us. Tonight, our contenders will battle for the big prize, a night in one of Keene's most prestigious hotels. And without further ado, let's introduce our contestants. On my right-hand side, we have Team Red with Marissa and Riley. Guys, what is your favorite food to cook? Um, I would have to say my favorite food to cook is steak. Ramen noodles. <laughs> Ramen's an excellent choice. And on our left-hand side, or my left hand, excuse me, we have Team Blue with Cody and Ryan. Guys, what is your favorite food to cook? Easy mac and cheese. Reese's Puffs. <laughs> Two five-star meals right there. And our jury is composed of Alexa, Brian, and Sophia. They're professionals in the art of standard cooking. Our contestants will try and cook while having a handicap. They'll pick one of the disadvantages out to carry through the, the night. There are six of them that aff all affect the quality of work. Once done, our jury will give reviews, vote for the best dish, and elect tonight's winners. To cook a delicious omelet, the contenders will use eggs, water, salt, pepper, butter, shredded cheese, and chopped ham, all coming from the beautiful land of New Hampshire. First of all, let's pick our handicaps though. Team Blue, please come to the jury's table and pick out a handicap. A moment of truth. One hand. All right, Team Blue will be cooking with one hand. And what can we have? Team Red step up and pick their handicap. Yeah, I say it. No talking. No talking it is for Team Red. So it's going to be a very interesting battle. Please step behind your table and get ready for a quick rock, uh -huh. rock paper, scissors shoot to determine a 30 second head start. And uh, once the winner is cho chosen, we will be giving a 30 he second head start to one of the teams. So if we could have an individual from each team step up into the middle of the jury's table. Namaste. Oh, and Team Red will get the 30 second head start. So we will begin cooking after this commercial break. Stay with us. And welcome back to Can You Cook That? Now that Team Blue and Team Red have both had a friendly rock, paper, scissors contest with Red being the winner, they will be awarded a 30 second head start for their omelet. Team Red, are you ready? Yep. Team Blue, are you ready to watch? Absolutely. Yeah. Begin. And this no talk scenario may be a little difficult for them to start out with. Hand signals are key in this scenario. A beautifully cracked Great egg. precision with the egg cracking. <laughs> team Blue just sits Eight there. seconds left until Team Blue can begin. Three, two, one. Team All right, Blue, let's get this bread. Crack. All right, crack those eggs. Everybody's going. Perfect, boom, one, hand. one, two. Perfect, get some water in there too. Blue's quickly picking up ground right now. It's very impressive from both teams. This All right, now get beautiful. some salt and pepper. Let's hear from our jury a little bit, though, guys. What do you think? Break that yolk. So Break the yolk. Got the hockey. You got to yolk it. You got to yolk it. All right, now get some. So now get some salt and pepper. Excellent. Get get some dash in there. Perfect. It's all in there. Perfect. All right, mix it up. Mm -hmm. Mix. And Alexa, moving over to you. What are your thoughts so far? All right, Team now what you're going to do ready. is get that butter. And they don't, so I wonder what their technique's going to be, and they can't talk, so. Make, make sure they have more room to work with, though, there so there you go. that is for sure. Yeah, there's that's a, a big yeah, advantage. That's a lot of room to work with. The design element will definitely be 
Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Team Red is now, slowly pouring let it, that let, let it right right on. And then whisk out, whisk out a little bit more. Okay, they're and like, then they're, look, they're pushing it. Right, they have to get ready it. to pour it. Precise? Very precise. They're trying to get it into a specific to section, too. That's going to be hard. You can't do it too much or else it's not going to stop. Right. Do it with a pan, excuse me. Um, you got to let it stay there on the Get in there. Oh, look at that precision. Oh. Excellent. That looks excellent wow. right there. That, that was pretty was excellent. Now, that's some Good jam work. right there if I haven't seen any for it's folks. It's getting this cheese and ham ready now. Oh, the ham's going in already. And they're going right with the sliced ham. Not, not even cut. It's going to be Still beautiful. working over here to get that egg Absolutely nice and shaped. beautiful. All right. Egg, star egg starting to cook. Seems as if uh, Team Red's having a little bit of trouble with that skillet as... Uh, this has been top, so it's top surface of eggs is thick and, and no visible. It's definitely hard to work with, but... It's thinking, it's thinking, we'll and no vis, so no video. Oh, you see, they have a little oh, technique going on. At the same yeah, time. Mm -hmm. got it. Drop pan. <laughs> There's ham on the floor. All right, check, it, check, check it out, check it out a little bit as well with the with the spatula. Oh, this is not working out. <laughs> <laughs> Four minutes and 22 seconds left on the clock. Dan, what's your favorite breakfast meal? My favorite breakfast meal is Eggs Benedict. Oh, Ooh, I would never wow. have picked those guys. I'm a huge Eggs Benedict guy. Oh. So just, just the holiday sauce, nice poached egg, some ham. I like chocolate chip pancakes. Crisps, pancakes. Parmalade, pancakes. Chocolate chip pancakes. 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 Yep. English like muffin. Oh. That's why. Bacon. That's that is why we are the judges. You know who can do it? Shout right? out to Hometown Diner I though for making I a good delicious. Pancakes. That's the pancakes that I go to. I hop. Diner back home. Nothing like no, it. No, see, I don't Colonial like diner. pancakes. I like IHOP. Go to it, New York, Middleton. IHOP's pancakes. IHOP. IHOP is the, the International House of Pancakes. Thank you. Don't worry about. Don't worry about people that go to IHOP sometimes. We are actual <laughs> food critics, so we know. College students are great. <laughs> Here in Ringe, New Hampshire. <laughs> oh, yeah, I kind of so we now we got the cheese on yeah. and the ham. Make sure Team Blue nice looks like they're starting to get ready to flip their omelet. Really makes Team the Red's yummy. here. Down to three minutes. <laughs> She's not even concerned. Very calm. Presence in the <laughs> Ooh, I'm so I'm just excited. getting a nice little I guess drink they can't of water. Talk, so that's why they're saying <laughs> I forgot how to read. Wow. Under three minutes left remaining. It's all right. It's uh, don't don't tell you. We still have three minutes. I did read that bubble right there. Getting rid of the bubble there. Getting it nice and nice and level. And the silence is uh, making this way, 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 way more intense here. Getting ready to flip their omelet a little bit. Uh oh, it's starting to break a little bit on them. Uh oh, that's not, that's not looking good. <laughs> Team Blue's getting ready to flip theirs. Um, I would flip, flip the flip, flip the side that's like kind of breaking a little bit. So no, flip, no, no, flip that, flip, flip that way. Yeah, because that that's like breaking a little bit. Ready? Just like a Skidoo gorgeous shirt. omelet. For the flip. <laughs> right there, they're going back, redoing it. Again, second try. There you go. Ooh, excellent. Oh, pristine. <laughs> Just keep it right there. Perfect. Team Red's looking a little lost there. Just a little uh, over a minute left remaining. Do our judges like cheese? Let's throw a little more cheese on there. Let's get some sizzle. Under a minute left. I gotta say, it smells absolutely delectable in mm. here. Uh, 
I would take over in games, carry the ball so we can get the omelet on the plate. Number 30 seconds left. Fifteen seconds left. Nine. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Utensils down. And congratulations to both teams for creating huge pieces of it's art in their dishes. Now your fate on how effectively you've cooked the, this dish is in the hands of the jury. We'll be back though, right after the break. And welcome back. Team Blue, before the jury gets to taste your dish, what was one of the most difficult things during the process of cooking your omelet? Give me one hint, what's that? I'd say it was reading. Reading? Mm-hmm. And moving on to Team Red, before they get a taste of your dish, what was the most difficult thing cooking your omelet? Because I saw you had a little bit of trouble there towards the end. Yeah, so the skillet just was not hot enough um, at all. So we didn't really get an egg hard enough that was able to flip very well. So that was kind of hard. <laughs> all right, great to hear your thoughts, Team Red. Now to the juries and getting to taste their omelet. Um, from both sides. So uh, let's start with Team Blue getting a taste from them and then your thoughts on their teamwork and precision as well too. Critics only use baby forks. That's a good omelet. My stomach was growling before this, so I mean, it was really in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start from left to right, though. Sophia, your thoughts on their teamwork and how well the omelet came out itself. Good teamwork. I good skills with that one hand thing I knew that was going to be difficult. Um, I wish it, it stayed on with the cheese a little longer to fully like melt. But other than that, it's really good. All right, moving on to Brian now to your thoughts. I'm going to agree with Sophia. The cheese is still a little, little much. Um, overall, though, the presence was amazing. So, and then last but not least, Alexa. I was gonna. That's what I was gonna say. The presentation is really good. That was like the perfect looking omelet. And I like how you used this, I think you put some spices in here, right? So yeah, that was I a really good right. combination. And yeah, the cheese just could have been melted a little more, but it's really good overall. Mm -hmm. All right, now moving on to Team Red's omelet, if you guys would cut that into three equal ways, <laughs> 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 yeah, however you may. <laughs> Even though it looks a little clumpy, it still looks pretty, pretty good. <laughs> you guys want to just take one bite? And Absolutely. Then, uh, Absolutely. We'll hear your thoughts. All right, starting off with Sophia, your thoughts and how well they did as a collective team. So despite your difficult with the skillet like being over there it's good it's a little too much ham it's like you put everything um yeah but good job <laughs> cheesy very cheesy that's all i gotta say it was it's still very good just the ham was good so good job <laughs> thank you guys uh it's now going to be 
up to the jury to decide on the winner. But before we announce a winner, congratulations to both teams on competing in our first episode. Now to announce our second place team who will be going home with the golden spatula and runner up is team red. Team, team red. red. team red, tough go for you guys, but you worked very hard. Give us your final thoughts on how, y how much you enjoyed th this game show and will we see you on another appearance at some point? Um, I, think, I think we gave it our best. We did all we could. Uh, we had some technical difficulties, which we can't control, but we'll be back soon. <laughs> and that leaves us for the winner of the grand prize, none other than Team Blue for the prestigious Hotel and Keen. <laughs> Guys, tell us how this makes you feel and what's going through your mind right now. My heart's full. My heart is full. As is mine. And I'm ready to make that room full when we grace our presence with it. <laughs> and there you have it. Thank you very much for watching, and join us next time on Can You Cook That?